Right, so you can see this hockey stick got a little bit mashed, the heel of the stick. Uh, it's my grandson's, and, and uh, I said, why don't you let me see if I can repair it? So the heel itself was all mashed. You can see that inside foam interior. And so what I did is took a two-part epoxy resin, a JB Weld. First, I cleaned everything with isopropyl rubbing alcohol and filled in that gap and kind of re-strengthened it. After it dried, sanded it down, recontoured it, and it was ready at that point to have the carbon fiber put on it. This is my first time messing with this, so it was just really an experiment. Let's go at it and see what happens. Right, so this is all sanded off and cleaned with alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. This is the carbon fiber cloth I got, 5.8 ounces, using turtle boat resin and a medium hardener. We'll have links in the description for as much of these as I can find if you're interested. This is a bit of an experiment. I've never done this before, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this actually turns out. That's going to be the grand plan, right like that. Let's go ahead. This is a two to one uh, ratio, and they, they gave me pump spray. I bought pump sprayers with this, but I'm deciding just to do this by weight because I'm going to save the pumps for a bigger project. So we're just going to go ahead and weigh this out two to one. That's 25. So we're going to do 12 of the medium hardener. Okay, there we go. Now this has a, I can't remember what the, I think the dry time to where it's tack free is like three hours, which isn't bad. It's got these cheapy throwaway brushes and I'm going to both saturate the back side of this cloth and the stick. Wax paper down here just to kind of provide a little protection for the table. Okay, this is way thirstier than I thought. And I was weighing in grams when I began there, so it was 12. 12 and 25, this is not bad. This cloth is six inches wide by 12 inches long. It was cut from a bigger piece that I bought. Perfect. So now I'm just gonna go ahead, and I've already sanded the stick down. I think I had, it was down to 80. I think they recommend 120, but all this will sand off, or will sand down to a smooth finish. I'm trying not to take a super long amount of time because uh, I think it has a 25 minute um, gel time. Okay, now let's go ahead and it is, it is totally saturated. It's going through the cloth really well. Apply it with my gloves, gloved hands. Okay, and I'm going to let it overlap on the bottom because that's where the stick gets the most abuse. And the beauty of this stuff is it, it does conform really well to the curve, which is nice. Let's slide. I don't have a vacuum bag. So what we're going to do is a poor man's vacuum bag. I'm going to hit this with a little WD-40. I'm just going to wrap this up just so there's lots of a good pressure on this. All right, we'll see what happens. Now it's just a matter of time of waiting for it to dry.
All right, so we finished sanding and I actually used the belt sander because uh, I was a little impatient. But uh, all we're gonna do now is do a final coat. Now that it's, it's all roughed up and it looks pretty bad, but this final little skim coat will make a big difference. Let's see, six or eight grams. We'll just see what this looks like. I'm gonna do eight grams of the resin and then half again with the hardener. So we'll do four grams of the hardener. Basically this is just gonna be a, a painted on layer. And I noticed that when I wrapped it in uh, Saran, it did pull in all the little hairs, high spots, but it did leave a very rough surface. So if you were doing a project where it needs to really be flat, the Saran is, does make it pretty bumpy. So it's just, you know, note to self. But for this purpose, it was fine. Sander really did a nice job of leveling it all out. This is my grandson's practice stick. It was his original, now it became a practice stick as it got old and he moved up into a different stick, but this is just nice to have an extra stick around. And he had pretty well mashed it on the heel. And uh, so I, I said, well, let me take a shot at fixing this. Get you uh, a few more days out of it. All right, that looks like that'll do. So we'll just let that dry. And worst case, it's just the practice, you know, just the play around stick. But for a first try, um, I'm, I like it. It's kind of cool. There's things I would do different if I was, I'm going to do other projects with carbon fiber and there's things that would do different. But I think for just an experiment to see how it works. Yeah, this is, this is pretty fun. All right, so we'll let that dry. If nothing else, it just lets you know, yeah, it's something something worth taking on if you got a small project or even a big project. This can at least just get you started down that road. Hope this video helps. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you in the next video.